So one of these days I'm going to get back to making the funny videos. Um, because nobody wants to get on Facebook and hear me be a downer all the time. I, I, I get that. I understand that. But I have to. I have to. As a, as, a, as a gay black guy, I have to address this Jesse Smollett situation. If you're not familiar with the story, uh, Jesse Smollett is an actor from uh, the hit show Empire. Uh, who is uh, out as a gay man. And he, uh, a couple weeks ago, uh, filed, a filed a report uh, saying that he was attacked outside of, uh, not, not too far uh, from his home in Chicago. Um, he reported to police that uh, two men uh, wearing MAGA hats and uh, acting in the name of, of the president uh, attacked him, poured some unknown liquid on him, uh, assaulted him, uh, put a noose around his neck, all of this, shouted epithets, uh, all, of, all of this. Um, and so the outpouring of, of support came out for him. Um, but now it is being said that there are two individuals, two people of interest who were questioned and let go. Uh, so now it's apparently circulating. The, the hip thing to do is to say that Smollett made it up. He uh, put these guys up to it. He's, uh, he's pulling the wool over our eyes for whatever reason. I don't know why someone would do that. Here's the thing. Um, none of us were there. I'm not a, I'm, I'm not a cop. I, 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 I can't. I'm not an investigator. Uh, and I can't say with any degree of certainty whether whether it happened or it or or it didn't. I, I can't tell you that. I will say that I choose to believe it, and I choose to um, believe that this happened. And I'll tell you why. Uh, several reasons. First off, uh, it's not like the Chicago police aren't exactly known for being on the up and up. This is one of the, actually the most corrupt law enforcement agencies on the <laughs> in the in the in the country. I mean, if you look at it, I mean, we had. Uh, I think it was 19 cases of just this year of 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 uh, of, of people uh, going up against the police force for uh, wrongful uh, for wrongful accusations and things like that. That's just this year. So uh, I don't know. I, I I look at I look at anything that Chicago Chicago does. The Chicago police does is, as as uh, as as kind of I take it with a grain of salt. Uh, but the other thing. If you the other the other reason uh, I choose to believe Jesse um, is if you look at the statistics here uh, from in two, in twenty seventeen the FBI reported that the uh, number of hate crimes against LGBT people has been on the rise uh, since twenty fourteen really but in twenty sixteen it rose three percent that doesn't sound like a whole lot to you. Until you consider that this is just the FBI's number, all right? That's what has been officially reported uh, as hate crimes. The uh, National Crime Victimization Survey estimates that that number is more than likely much, much, much higher because either the law enforcement agencies just aren't reporting these uh, these incidents as hate crimes, which does happen, or LGBT people who uh, suffer these attacks aren't reporting them because they don't trust law enforcement, or they're afraid of uh, suffering sort of backlash, or they're embarrassed, or they or or they will uh, feel like no one will believe them, and that's that's sad because we're supposed to be. In this era, we're supposed to be, uh, you know, trying to believe victims and give people the benefit of the doubt. We're supposed to not not silence people, not dismiss their their stories out of hand. Now, again, do I do I know what happened uh, with this in the Smollett case? I, I have I, I have no I have no idea, uh, but I choose to believe him because uh, 
for every time that we every every incident that doesn't get reported or that doesn't get uh, followed up on uh, or where they where they where they uh, victim of a hate crime doesn't report or isn't believed then we miscarry justice in that I would rather I'll put it this way if I if I believe him if I believe Jesse Smollett and it didn't happen the worst thing that happens is that I've got some egg on my face the worst thing that happens is I'm embarrassed all right fine I made out to be you know a patsy shame on uh, shame on me but if I don't believe him and it did happen then that is not only an affront to justice that undermines everything that we've tried to do uh, to make sure that um, LGBT people are served. By the way, uh, the FBI estimates about 60% of those crimes that happen, of those incidents that are reported, uh, the victims are gay, black men. So I kind of have a stake in this. And when I see people talk about, oh, he made it up, he... He, you know, he, he paid those guys to do it. He just wants attention. Would you say that same thing about me? If that happened to me, if I was in an incident, if I, would, if I got bashed upside the head tomorrow, would you say I had it coming? Would you say I made it up? So, I don't know. I, 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 would, I would rather err on the side of, uh, of survivors and victims being believed and uh, with the opportunity to, to, to serve justice. We should all do the same.